What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. How are you guys? It is Roche Ball, y'all. And today is Monday, which is my Friday. Um, everybody else is Monday, but my Friday. Let me stop doing that. Because at any moment, they're going to be like, oh, Tiffany, we changed your schedule. You have to come in tomorrow. And then you have to, I'm like, but I'm off tomorrow. But since it's a new start of the week, oh, why did I do that? Now I got to start all over. Okay, you guys, so I am thinking about, if I can't do it this week, I'll do it next week, taking out these braids and putting some spring twists in. Because today, this morning, I was looking at a hair tutorial. Um, I believe her name is Vanity Vandy or Vandy Vanity. And she was putting some um, spring twists in her daughter's hair. And I believe it was the colors of 2T1B slash 27. I can't say that without stumbling over my words. And I'm thinking, I like that hairdo. So, if I stay, it depends on where I catch the bus home from work. If I catch the bus home, if I, like, let's just say I stay on a certain side. Anyway, I don't, you guys don't know what I'm talking about, but if I get off, if I stay in this building, that means I have to catch the bus that's going down, that's closer to the... Okay, I'm thinking out loud. That should have stayed in my mind because y'all don't know what I'm talking about. But anyway, um, on Wednesday, I was thinking of going to Walmart and seeing if I can stock up on some more makeup products, mainly this. Now, I have about 12 of 15 or maybe close to 12 of these already unused, unopened, okay? What I did for my new roll shenanigans who don't know is a little after the pandemic hit heavy, stores started to open up. Walmart started to open up, you know, the important places. And I started stocking up on these. I got about, that's why I got so many of them. I started stocking up on these. This is, for those who can't see it, is the Maybelline New York Dream Matte Mousse in Cocoa Dark number three. It is a foundation that has been working for me for a little over 16 years, and that's how it looks. And I use a brush to apply it, and I just kind of blend it in with this, or I'll blend it in with this. But I use this to kind of apply it. It broke, but I kind of like apply it like this. And then underneath the eye, I'll kind of like, kind of clean it up a little bit, so that way my under eyeliner won't mess up. But this, I will go to stores like, well, I don't think Target has it, but... I'll go to Walmart, stock up, and get whatever's left on the shelf of this. Sometimes I will kind of be lenient, and if there's three, I'll leave one in case somebody else is trying to find it, but they can't. I'll go to Rite Aid, I'll go to Walgreens, I'll go to Walmart. Any store that has this, this foundation, I have to grab it because it's the only foundation that's been working for me. And this concealer from Fit Me, this is also from Maybelline. And the number 55, I always get a shade lighter than me. If I'm dark chocolate, I'll get like a peanut butter shade concealer. And it will give me highlights. So I'm not worried about if it's too bright because I know how to blend it in with my foundation to make it look like highlightable. So that's what I do with this. I got to do what works for me. It may not be good for everybody else, but everybody else do what they do. I do what I do. That's why I'm Roche Ball. And you're you. But I use this, and this is in the number... 55. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the number is right here. It says 55. I got to stock up on these two. Now, these were like six something maybe, but I'm going to get three or four more of these or whatever's on the shelf because I believe these are a Target. I got to see. I don't know, but I do that because, like I said, I've been using this for almost 16 years, and this is the only foundation that's been working for me. I've been using it for a long time. I started using it because my sister was using it. And I'm thinking, I gotta get me some more of this because <laughs> this foundation, it just works. You see, you can kind of tell I don't have any. I don't have any on right now. I just did a little something to my eyes and that's right, that's it. Now I'm about to put on my foundation because it's, it's the only mask is the mascara it's the only foundation that's been working like like wonders for me like I care about that foundation so much I know that sounds dumb but if they discontinue it or 
they could either not sell it in a certain store no more, which is fine because I have some at home, or they could Maybelline, the makeup company, could actually say, we're no longer using this anymore. We're going to switch over to the Fit Me liquid, which they do have. And I have about two or three of them. And I believe 365 is my color. I don't, I don't, I don't know, you guys. I'm not really sure about that type of foundation yet. I don't know. I don't want to part with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stock up on this. I'm going to try to see if I can go to several different stores. Wait, there's a Rite Aid that's over there. There's a Walmart that's over there. Is there Walgreens? I'm going to try to find... I got these from Walgreens, Rite Aid, CVS, Target. I believe they have it. I don't remember Target having it, but I got most of these from Walmart. At CVS, they're like almost 11 something. At Walmart, they're a good like nine, maybe close to 10. Pretty much just round it up and say they're 11 something too. Um, I care about this foundation so much and I appreciate Maybelline for making this. I hope they don't discontinue it because if so, I'm gonna be mad, but in a way I'm not. But I got enough to save me for like a couple years, you know, but I still need more just in case if they say, you know what, we're throwing that out. Because I'm not ready to get the Fit Me foundation. I want to stick with the matte foundation. And it's just the liquid foundations don't really work for me. It's a lot of blending and a lot of shininess that goes on in my skin. These are my shining zones. Up here, my nose is shiny right here. And my cheeks get shiny. And I have to keep dabbing my forehead and my nose and my cheeks because that's the places that get shiny. These areas get shiny the most. And so for me to put on shiny mess, shiny foundation on top of shiny skin, and it's just like, I don't want a shine to any of my makeup, but my lipstick. If I use like lip gloss or something, that's the only shine I want to any of my makeup. But to put like a shine from my foundation, I don't like it. I don't even want to shine in my, um, concealer or my eyeshadow but um, my neck is not gonna really be showing that much today for a couple hours for the first couple of hours I usually leave my jacket on because it's cold and sometimes it'll turn on the heater right away in certain buildings I wish people were like if it's cold outside and it's starting to get hot just like put on the AC if it's hot outside. Put on the heater if it's cold outside. Don't just stand there and not have nothing on and just determine, oh, it's hot outside, let me put on the AC. Oh, it's cold outside, let me put on the heat. Put the heat on first to kind of get everything warmed up because, you know, people are just coming from outside, you know, the cars, the bus, whatever, lifts, Ubers, whatever, and they're, they're like, their body's chilling and it's cold. Now, you know, kind of how babies feel, how they come out the womb. It's like, look, I was comfortable in there. Wrap me up like a burrito and shut up. But yeah. Mm hmm This concealer helps because in the corner of my mouth, they used to split. And to heal them, I used to put um, Carmex on and it would heal it right up. But there's a black spot. You see where the concealer is? There's like a black spot that's there that I don't want it to be seen because... Um, it really takes away from the... But anyway, you guys, I am working on taking off my nails because I don't want them anymore. I want to do another set. I really want a long set because I look at two YouTubers with long nails. They're not the only YouTubers with long nails, but I look at a lot of Sharon She's So Fabulous videos and a lot of Renee Savage's videos and their nails are to die for. I'm thinking, I need my long nails. I can't do this short crap no more. That's not stupid. How am I gonna scratch your man's back with short nails? Not that I want your man, but I'm just saying. I only said that to be funny. You know, most genetics, don't take it to heart. I don't want your man. I just said that to be funny. See, I don't know if you guys can tell that the foundation that I have on now, it covers up all of my iniquities impurities too but that's okay um the consistency 
is almost like a, not gelatin, but it's creamy, but when you put it on, it's like matte. And matte don't give it that shine. It's kind of like when you put on matte lipstick. Which I think I'm not going to do. I think I may do lipstick today. I think I'm going to go ahead and do some lipstick today. I have this lipstick right here from CoverGirl. It's a 24-hour matte. And it literally stays. And I think I showed you guys this before. I think I bought this when I was in the high desert. It's called Watch Me. Regardez moi. I don't know if you guys can see that. Regardez moi. I believe that's what it says. Um, yeah, and it comes out like this. It's really cute. Look at it. And um, I'm going to put a little of this on. Anytime I do a light eye, I do dark lipstick. Even anytime I do a dark eye, it's light lipstick. Or just plain, just do a foundation. Now, since most of everybody at my job are not wearing masks, I try to keep mine on my face, at least hooked to my ears and at least under here in case I go into a place and I have to just put the mask on like that. But other than that, I take it off. I hope everybody had a good weekend. I hope everybody got rest. Give yourself a break from work. Hung out with family. Binge watched and got caught up on your favorite TV shows on your days off. For those of you who are off on weekends, or even if you're not off on weekends, as soon as you get home from work, you run you a bath, take you a shower, sit on a lazy boy with your drawers, favorite oversized t-shirt, whatever you wear, and just caught up, got caught up on your favorite YouTube show, YouTube channels, or got caught up on your some of your favorite um, movies or Netflix or Hulu shows. I no longer have Netflix because I don't want it. I no longer have Hulu because I don't want it. I'm tired. I'm tired of the stupid buffering. And no, and I don't like the fact that Netflix takes off certain shows. Like I would have a list of it says my list, and I'll have all the things that I like listed on Netflix, and all of a sudden they will be gone. Um, I had. The Bad Seed on there. I had um, Django and all that on there. I also had Leave It to Beaver and they took it off. So I don't like that. So I am subscribed to BET Plus now and I am subscribed to Peacock and I'm also subscribed to Paramount Plus. But I'm thinking of getting rid of Paramount Plus because there's something on there that I just don't like. And plus, I don't need to be subscribed to all these different channels if all I watch is YouTube. That's all I've been watching lately. It's a lot of YouTube. I've been catching up on some of my YouTubers that I like. Um, I also need to start binge watching some of my Rosie Madigans. I don't know who's all subscribed to me. Um, I know for sure I am subscribed to certain people who are subscribed to me. But I, I just, it would really be nice if I had a list of everybody. If you guys could just comment under one of my videos one day and say, hey, I'm subscribed to you. So that way I can go and check y'all videos out and subscribe to y'all. Well, I'm going to subscribe to you guys regardless. Then I can binge watch y'all videos. Um, I like to watch prank videos. Um, it's a show called Superbook. They changed the animation since I was a kid. Um, it's like Jesus cartoons and it gives you stories about what happened in the Bible. And I love watching it, especially early in the morning or when I'm about to go to bed. Because it's good to kind of go to sleep to that. And wake up to, to that. A lot of people who, even if you don't, you're not religious or you're not spiritual, you look at Disney channels. You know, I think I'm going to keep Paramount Plus because I used to go to sleep watching Gullah Gullah Island and Little Bear. Who remembers from Nick Jr., Little Bear, Gullah Gullah Island? That's me. Yeah. I used to watch that all the time. And I like to go to sleep watching that because you wake up in a good mood and it all depends on what you have on TV. Some people can sleep in complete darkness. But the silence is so loud, I start to think I'm hearing whispering and that really creeps me out. So I decide, let me go ahead and just turn on the TV. I can't even sleep in the dark with music. I have to see something. I have to watch something because that helps me go to sleep. Some people say, well, read. Read a book. I'm only acting this way because I haven't tried it. But I think I may end up doing that because I need to... I need to get my brain and my eyes rest from junk TV and I need to just read a book. 
I love murder mysteries, who did it. And I like the kind of books where you find out oh, that whole time it was her. She was the killer. I like stuff like that. So my auntie suggests that I read. This ain't even mine. Okay. I'll leave that there. So my auntie suggests that I read Dean Kuntz. D-E-A-N-K-O-O. NTZ. I think that's how you spell his name. He, I think, has a lot of good murder mysteries. And I'm going to have to check him out because I like to read. It has to turn into a love slash black widowy type of murder. Like, you know, somebody beautiful seduced you and end up being the killer or something like that. And then you know, but that's more of like a more romantic type of thing. I want to murder mysteries. Almost like Clue. I like the game, the board game Clue. And I like the movie Clue. I like stuff like that. Where you can be like, okay, well, if she was in the dining room the whole time with Mr. Abbott and their son, Andy, then none of them killed the maid. Because the maid went upstairs to change the apron from spilling wine on it. So how did the butler get upstairs that fast to kill the maid and come downstairs that fast? You see what I'm saying? And then you realize it's two butlers. Stuff like that. I love when my mind gets taken away from all the BS and I can read stuff like that. And it takes my mind away and it, it, it brings me there. That's the kind of stuff I like to read. If I ever read anything again and it's good to kind of read some educational stuff to know what's going on in the world you know but if i'm gonna read it's not gonna be anything about politics anything about documentaries i don't know why i don't like that stuff it is good to know about your people and where you come from but for me if i'm gonna read anything besides the bible i have to read things that just takes my mind away and i have to close the book with my finger in it and be like wait a minute Is the stepmother the new wife of the son's best friend? Or is the, you know, something like that. And you're like, oh, let me keep reading. And then you find out. I like stuff like that. Stuff that will have me closing the book to think and, and, and kind of solve the problem before you read. Solve the murder mystery before you read about it. And I'll be like, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. She was a tramp the whole time. She was trying to get at her best friend's husband and father. Father died, left the wife, the inheritance, and she thought if she married the brother, she'll partake in some of that inheritance, but it didn't happen that way because she, y'all, I'm, I'm taking myself away right now. That's the kind of stuff I like to read. So if I'm going to read a book beside the Bible, I have to read a book that, there's nothing wrong with National Geographic, but I ain't got time to be looking at naked animals and nothing like that or whatever. To read something that gets my mind going and it's like girl i'm reading this book that is juicy but at the same time it's scandalous then it's like it's so romantic then it's sad because you didn't know that alfred was gonna die before he left the will to anybody he died so they had the family fighting then you realize Nobody's on the wheel. Stuff like that, y'all. I'm just making up stuff in my mind because that's the kind of stories I like to read. Scandalous murder mysteries that you thought was going to start off as a love story. We were two innocent kids in elementary school. Didn't know what we wanted. We grew up college, blah, 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 blah. Fell in love and she ended up being my dad's wife. That, that, that kind of stuff. Oh, scandalous. Now, I, will, I would, if I had a bunch of books like that, reality TV won't even exist in my life. It won't. I would never watch reality TV again if I know I can read a book that takes my mind off of not only the stuff that I go through, crap, whatever, but it would just take me away. It literally, and I don't want the book to have pictures because it takes away from what I want to imagine. Like, why? When I was reading Fifty Shades of Grey by E.L. James, I believe, why was I imagining Christian Grey to be Anderson Cooper and me, Anastasia? 
That's where my mind went. I was Anastasia, and I was about to meet this man, Christian Gray, but in my mind, Christian Gray looked like Anderson Cooper. That's just who I thought of first. And he is very good looking. Okay. Hmm. He is very good looking. But anyway, um, I'm about to go ahead and end this video, you guys. You guys know just a, a couple of my real shenanigans. You know a little bit more about me. I do have a, and these are these are only for the Roll Shenanigans that's been subscribed that haven't seen it yet, and to my new Roll Shenanigans, I did do a 10 facts about me. It's actually 20 facts, but I split them up into two videos so you can get some basic information about me. Um, I'm thinking of doing another one. Um, not a recap, but I'm thinking of doing another one so that way you guys can know more about me. Um, also on here, for my new role shenanigans, there's going to be no drama. Um, I'm going to try to see if I can incorporate some kind of reaction videos because I want to start doing that. You know what I mean? I want to literally go on other, find another YouTube video to react to. I want to just start doing that too. But I don't know how to set up the camera to do the split screen thing and I don't know how to do that. So I'll find a way. Um, I don't know if you have to be subscribe to more people or have more subscribers to do that but I would definitely find a way to do that all because I want different content for my channel but anyway you guys I'm about to go ahead and pack it up and go I do appreciate each and every last one of my rule shenanigans that subscribe I appreciate y'all so freaking much thank y'all so much also thank you for the comments that I have been getting um, you know who you are, and I also would like to be subscribed to everybody who subscribed to me. So it'll be nice if you can kind of give me y'all names, take a roll call, maybe comment on some of my videos, and I can just subscribe to y'all, because that'll be juicy. I like to binge watch a lot of YouTube videos, and I would love to binge watch some of y'all YouTube videos. So please, please, if you can, either show me where I can find where my subscribers are, so I can subscribe to each and every last one of y'all, or just write your name underneath a comment saying hey this is my channel name subscribe subscribe if you do not have time to do that that's okay i'll find it myself and i'll subscribe to each and every last one of y'all even if your video is about fixing cars or setting up tents or packing up for camping or all the camping essential needs that you may need check out my video even if you do the rv living life or or you you travel a lot you exercise whatever your channel is about Holla at your girl, because I will binge watch each and every last one of y'all Roshanalikin's videos, okay? Um, come on now. I do that. So, plus if I'm braiding my hair or taking my braids out, I like to watch stuff over and over again. Or I like to just binge watch a whole bunch of YouTube videos or movies or whatever. Um, just until I take my braids out, and then I'm like, oh, I gotta wait, wait, wait. I gotta take a shower first and get comfortable with a glass of wine and maybe a bubblegum popsicle before I watch this YouTube video. Wait a minute, I gotta get comfortable. That's just what I do. So just comment below what your YouTube name is, or I will find a way to find everybody I'm subscribed to. Even if your video is about hair, if your video is about making clothes, clean with me videos, get ready with me videos, just sit and talk videos, whatever it is. I used to love to watch liver, uh, what is it? Deliver and labor story, labor and delivery stories too. But then I started getting sad, like it's not gonna happen to me. So let me stop watching this because I'm getting sad. But whatever it is, I will binge watch each and every last one of y'all videos. Okay, I gotta go. It's been almost 25 minutes. I've been talking too much. See you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed your weekend and enjoy this work week. It's gonna be over before you know it. See you on the next video. I've talked too damn much. I need to be the hell quiet.